Okay, class, today we're in section 1.6, use precision and measurement. 1.6, use precision and measurement. Before, you measured using a ruler and protractor. Now, you will compare measurements for precision. Key vocabulary, precision, significant digits. You ask two friends for the time. Noah says it is about 2.30. Mia says, it is about 2.28 and 19 seconds. Mia gives a more precise measurement of time. Noah's watch, Mia's watch. Precision. Precision is the level of detail that an instrument can measure. Mia's watch is more precise than Noah's watch because it gives the time to the nearest second. In a similar way, a ruler marked in millimeters is more precise than a ruler marked only in centimeters, since millimeters is a smaller unit than a centimeter. Example one, compare precision of measurements. Choose the more precise measurement. A, seven centimeters, 7.3 centimeters. B, five yards, 16 feet. C, one pint, to 16 ounces. Solution A. The units are the same because tenths are smaller than ones. 7.3 centimeters is more precise than 7 centimeters. B. The units are different because a foot is a smaller unit of measure than a yard. 16 feet is a more precise unit of measure. C. The units are different because an ounce is a smaller unit of measure than a pint. 16 ounces is a more precise measurement, even though one pint is equal to 16 ounces. Avoid errors. Remember that the smaller unit is not always the more precise measurement. Always examine the units of measure. Significant digits. To the nearest centimeter, the diameter of a United States quarter is about two centimeters. Measured to the nearest millimeter, a diameter of, a, of the quarter is 24 millimeters. The measurement 24 millimeters is more precise because it is given using a smaller unit of length. In the two coins measured, notice that the numerical value 24 has more digits than the value 2. You can use the number of significant digits to describe the precision of a measurement. Significant digits are the digits in a measurement that can carry meaning contributing to the precision of the measurement. Key concept, determining significant digits. Key concept, determining significant digits. Rule, all non-zero digits. Example, 281.39, significant digits, 2, 8, 1, 3, and 9. Number of significant digits, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once again, all non-zero digits are significant, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. None of these numbers are zeros, so therefore, you have 5 significant digits. Rule. Zeros that are to the right of both the last non-zero digit and the decimal point. Zeros that are to the right of both the last non-zero digit and the decimal point. Example, 0 0.0070. Significant digits, the 7 and the 0. Number of significant digits, 2. Notice. The 7 and the 0 are to the right of both the last non-zero digit and the decimal point. So we get our decimal point. All right, and it's to the right. So the 7 and the 0, they count as significant digits. The 0 here, no. The 0 here, no. The 0 here, no. Once again, zeros that are to the right of both the last non-zero digit and the decimal point. 
Rule. Zeros between significant digits. Rule. Zero between significant digits. Example. 500.7. 500.7. 5 is a significant digit. 7 is a significant digit. So therefore, these zeros are trapped between two significant digits. Therefore, it would make them also significant digits. So how many significant digits? 4. Number of significant digits, once again, 4. Why? Because the zeros are between significant digits. They are trapped between the 5 and the 7. Zeros at the end of a whole number are usually assumed to be non-significant. For example, 220 centimeter has two significant digits, while 202 centimeters has three significant digits. So here, the 220, this right here, is not a significant digit. Whereas here, in 202, it is trapped, the zero is trapped in between the two and the two, which are significant, which makes the zero itself significant. That's why here you have three significant digits, and here you only have two. Ex example two, identify significant digits. Determine the number of significant digits in each measurement. A, 290.01. B, 0 0.8500 kilometers, C, 4,000 miles. Solution, A, the digits 2, 9, and 1 are non-zero digits, so they are significant digits. The zeros are between significant digits, so they are also significant digits. There are five significant digits, 2, 9, 0, 0, and 1. B, the digits 8 and 5 are non-zero digits, so they are significant digits. The two zeros to the right of the last non-zero digit are also to the right of the decimal point, so they are significant digits. There are four significant digits, 8, 5, 9, 0. And then the two zeros are to the right of this decimal, so therefore they are significant digits. Once again, the two zeros are to the right of this decimal. So they are significant digits. That's why you have four significant digits. C, the digit four is a non-zero digit. So it is a significant digit. The zeros at the end of a whole number are not significant. There is one significant digit. That's the four in 4,000. Significant digits in calculations. When you perform calculations involving measurements, the number of significant digits that you write in your result depends on the number of significant digits in the given measurement. Key concept, determining significant digits in calculations. Operations, addition and subtraction. Rule, round the sum or difference to the same place as the last significant digit of the least precise measurement. Round the sum or difference to the same place as the last significant digit of the least precise measurement. Example, 3.24 plus 7.3 tenths. You add as normal and you come out with 10.54. Now you're going to stop at the 5 because you want to look at the least precise measurement. Notice that the tenths are not as precise as the hundreds. So you're going to go by the tenths. It ends with a 3 here. That's why the 5 is, is, is where it ends at there. So this would be the three significant digits. Okay, operations. This time we're going to look at multiplication and division. Rule. The product or quotient must have the same number of significant digits as the least precise measurement. The product or quotient must have the same number of significant digits as 
the least precise measurement. Example, 40, one significant digit, times 31, two significant digits. We multiply, the exact answer is 1,240. Significant digits, one significant digit. All right, now since the 40 has the least significant digit, which is one digit, then you must round this answer off to the least significant digit of showing one significant digit. So we're going to take the 1,240 and we run it up to 1,000. Now this answer has a significant digit of only one number. All right, it'll come out even a little bit better for you when we explain example three. Example three, calculating with significant digits. Perform the indicate the indicated operation. Write an answer with the correct number of significant digits. A, 45.1 centimeters plus 19.45 centimeters. Solution, 45.1 centimeter plus 19.45 centimeters is equal to 64.55 centimeters. The least precise measurement is 45.1 centimeters. Its last significant digit is in the tenths place. Round the sum to the nearest tenth. So the correct sum is 6.64.6 centimeters. B, 6.4 feet times 2.15 feet. That's equal to 13.76 feet squared. The least precise measurement is 6.4. It has two significant digits. So round the product to two significant digits. So we got 13.76. Let's round this to two significant digits. That means we're going to take, take it and make it 14. So the correct product is 14 square feet. All right. So now that concludes today's lesson.